Discord gambled on using React and React Native so they could write their app once and ship it anywhere, but Android got shafted on performance. In 2022, Better Devices and the new Hermes.js engine finally rolled out React Native on Android. Low-end phones still got shafted. However, they had been chipping away for better performance since then, and here's how they did it. One problem they had was keeping icons, even animated Nitro ones, in memory. So users in hundreds of servers lost lots of performance. Performance. Their fix was to rewrite the component to virtualize only the visible servers. Another issue was scrolling and loading chats were dragging. To improve performance, they recycled common UI buttons, image grids, instead of rebuilding them. Lazy loading rare bits like spoilers, upload overlays only when needed. And they pre-warmed a pool of chat cells before you even opened the screen. When users scrolled through hundreds, usually animated custom emojis, they usually just blanked out on budget phones. Their solution was to go full native for Android. They also switched their animated emojis from GIFs to WebP, which allowed low-end devices to render emojis at a silky 60 FPS. They tried to use Shopify's flash list, but it blanked out on cheap Androids. So they went back to Fastlist, their own React Native list, which rendered even on $50 phones. Then they went to their fastest list, which under the hood, it's a native recycler view plus view portaling. So JS views hitch a ride directly in native code. And they rolled this out everywhere. So all of their lists feel like butter. Okay, last one. After snapping a photo and returning to Discord, the media picker blanked for over four seconds. They one, made thumbnails quick low res first, and then high res later, and two, requested a 256 by 256 preview, and it hits a photo kit cache for instant returns. Some sweaty developers, so expect them to make their app even better in the future. 